Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to review these power distribution bus bars. We've been using these exact same bus bars for over four years and love them so much we bought this second pair for another project. When you order these bus bars, they'll arrive in a simple box and you can see right away that they're made in the USA, which we love. When you take them out of the box, you'll notice right away that these bus bars are heavy duty, thick, heavy metal, and with solid plastic covers. This is everything you want to handle high currents for up to 250 amps. Because of their high current rating, these bus bars are popular for a wide range of electrical projects for RVs, camper vans, boats, cars, trucks, and more. These bus bars are rated for 12 to 48 volts. Each of these bus bars measures approximately 6.5 inches end to end and about two inches tall. If you don't know already, these bus bars collect and distribute power throughout an electrical system. They're essential to keep your wiring neat, tidy, and organized. The red bus bar distributes power from the battery to all your DC loads, and the black bus bar consolidates that power from those DC loads and sends power back to the batteries. So what you'll need to do is connect your red bus bar to the positive terminal of your battery and then connect it to all your DC loads, such as your 12 volt fuse panel, inverter, and your solar charge controller. And then you wanna connect the black bus bar to those same loads and then back to the battery's negative terminal post. The size of the terminal posts of the bus bars from R2X Racing come in either 3 8 of an inch or 5 16 of an inch. So you will need to pick up a set of copper lugs that are sized correctly to fit the particular bus bars that you have. The bus bars that I'm holding here have 3 8 of an inch terminal posts. So I'll be using a 3 8 of an inch copper lug to make my connections. To do this, you'll need to remove the thick hex nut the lock washer, and the standard washer. Place your copper lug over the terminal post and put back the standard washer, the lock washer, and the hex nut. I'm finger tightening the hex nut in this video, but you'll want to use a socket wrench for more torque. And when you're done hooking up all your lugs, place the cover over the bus bars and fix with the black hex nut caps. And there you have it. Nothing fancy, just a high quality bus bar product capable of handling many of your electrical projects. Building an electrical system in a camper van can be complicated. Just look at all the products that you'll need. That's why we provide an electrical wiring ebook filled with simple, intuitive wiring diagrams and product and tool recommendations to help you build your system as fast as possible. To access this free ebook, click the link in the description below or head over to our website's homepage. Happy building!